Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Harris and you're watching Possible Now. So guys, if you have been struggling to launch Fortnite despite multiple attempts, reinstalling the game may not even be an option. Fortunately, the solution is simpler than you think. So guys, today I'm going to guide you about that how you can fix all crashes and errors in Fortnite Chapter 6 by applying these simple steps. So guys, this video is going to be really interesting. Just watch the video till the end. And if you're new in this channel, kindly like this video, share it to your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, step number one is fixing easy and a cheat. So open the Epic Games Launcher and click on the three dots next to Fortnite and select manage and click on the folder icon now navigate to the following path like fortnite game go to binaries go to win64 and locate the game named easy anti cheat right click on it and select show more options if needed and send shortcut of this file to your desktop now move the shortcut back into the original folder and rename the file by adding dash repair at the end of its name now double click the file and allow it to make changes when prompted. And after that guys, the step number 2 is adjusting compatibility settings. So now again return to the Win64 folder within the Fortnite game directory and now locate the file that ends with shipping. Right click the file and select properties. Navigate to the compatibility tab and enable run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. Check the boxes for disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. Now click changes. Now click apply and then OK. And after that guys, step number 3 is restarting and running Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. So restart your PC and after the reboot, use the research bar to locate Epic Games Launcher and right click on it and select open file location. Now right click on the Epic Games Launcher shortcut and choose run as administrator. Launch Fortnite and check if the issue is resolved or not. And last step guys is fixing error IS003. If the above steps do not work then you may be encountering this error. So to fix this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard and type percentage local app data, percentage and hit OK. Now navigate to the Epic Games folder and navigate to the Fortnite game, go to save and delete the web cache folder. This folder only contains temporary files that can cause crashes so go to the config and crash report and delete any crash logs relaunch fortnite to see if the issue is resolved or not method number five guys is update the essential system files so go to the official microsoft website and download the latest version of dax and visual c plus plus redistribution redistribution files Install both the x64 and x86 versions depending on your system's type and to check your system type right click on the windows logo select system and look under system type. Restart your PC after installation. And after that guys method number 7 is verify your game files. It's an important step so open your epic games launcher go to your library and click the three dots next to fortnite and select manage and click on verify. This process checks for any for and repair any missing or corrupted game files. And method number eight guys is use startup commands. So in the Epic Games Launcher guys, click the three dots next to Fortnite and select manage. Under startup options, add the following commands depending on your issue. So to force DX11, you need to set here um, dash D3D11 and to switch to ES31 set feature dash feature level e s31 and uh, close the launcher and restart fortnite to see the changes so guys that's it by following these methods you should be able to resolve fortnite crashes and errors and if this video helped guys kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out